Hi, it's Glenn from Alder Spring, and uh, we're up here in the Big Hat Creek area. And I got quite a few of my daughters. You can see uh, one of them over here on, on foot, actually, keeping the cattle moving through this regenerated aspen stand. And I'm really excited because you can probably see a lot of dead trees up high here. And uh, what's happening is almost all these are gonna die probably within the next 10 years. They all got problems. Uh, a lot of them have bear claw marks on them and um, elk rubs that have introduced uh, fungi. But the cool thing is we got all kinds of regenerating aspen here that's over six feet tall, all the way up to 15 to 20 feet tall. And it's fall now, it's September, and these aspens will turn gold soon. But we got our cattle coming up through here because there's no water in this draw anymore. It's, it's a very bottom sub-irrigated draw. But there's a lot of green grass here we can gather, and it actually will free up some of the competition from this aspen before it senesces. And the grass has already put all its nutrition down in the ground. So if we just kind of quick graze through here, um, we're not going to really adversely impact. In fact, I think we're going to have positive effects, which are really exciting because the aspen will even do better because we're here. It's been now seven years since we've been in this particular aspen stand, and it's regenerated to the point that we can actually utilize a little bit of the grass in here and actually benefit the grass and benefit the aspen that's finally releasing after so many years. You can hear uh, my cowgirls in the background. They're trying to train two border collies. We send them out here with uh, long leads. We run them out here with 20 foot ropes. And that way we can kind of have an active hand in having them come because they're just pups and they don't know anything. So, but they're learning and they're doing really well. Uh, we don't like the radio and shot collar method. Um, this seems to be more hands-on. It requires a person to be on the ground though, but it's all fun and uh, we're seeing great changes in our dogs, great changes in the Aspen, and we're seeing our cattle get full while we're doing it. And it's all exciting. It's a beautiful thing. And it's a beautiful day in Big Hat Creek in the beginning of fall in the Rocky Mountains. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope you watch the next installment. And there goes Clyde right now. He's going to find a recalcitrant yearling that's maybe not moving along. Anyway, thanks again. Bye now.